Hello Lillas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to leave me a comment, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to join the chat box, the link is in the description bar. If you don't see a join now besides your subscribe button, it is $1.99 to join. You do have to follow me on MrRenardSmithBabies.com. That is my blog. And if you want to follow my pictures, you can follow me on Instagram as MrRenardy underscore Smith. Hey, I got that done. It's 29 seconds. Okay, baby. All right, so topic of the day. Hey, topic of the day. Hey. Okay, let me stop being silly. All right, so I'm going to look. I'm going to make him summary. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we're going to try. And he's going to be a little bald headed because I ain't bring him no hat. But, um, so this question come up a lot in the community about, um, people always asking, like, why don't artists put the price out there, like, publicly? Like, why not just put the price out there? Like, why tell people to DM them? Why? Why, why do that? So, I've tried both ways. Sometimes I put it out there. Sometimes I don't. Um... Some of the higher price dolls, it, it sounds fishy sometimes because it, it it's like, okay, you if the dolls are at a low price, you'll put the price out there. But if the if the dolls are, you know, kind of up there, what you consider to be kind of pricey, you tell them to DM you. Why do you do that? All right. So sometimes it's because people are rude and people cannot respect um, sellers right to charge whatever they want to charge for their babies they don't respect that they will you know comment oh my god this is so expensive I could buy a car I could buy a house like uh it's it's nice but not that nice or um people or um people get the price there's other artists out here I know this is crabby but this is what people do I ain't lying to you um they may have a similar doll and then they will come in and try to um lowball like like i mean um come undercut you basically like put a, a lower price you know lord oh well i'll sell you my doll for less you know type thing you know like you're at the flea market i don't know but um i've seen that happen i've heard people say that's that's why they don't do it um, you know, people compete with price, you know, um, then there's why the, one of the reasons why I don't do it all the time is because, well, two, I don't have time to be dealing with people telling me what's too high and, oh, I, I wish and blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'm, we all say that now. Cause I'd be like, Ooh, if only I had a Ja, da, 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 da. Cause sometimes stuff just fall on bad timing. But anyway, um, one of the the biggest reasons why I think a lot of the honest artists do it is because they understand that a lot of collectors, such even myself, do not like other collectors knowing what they're spending on their dolls. Why? Because we get shame, price shamed, or collectors get price shamed. And when I say that, they you know, make, try to make it seem like, oh, wow, she's just wasting money. She's spending all that money on the dolls. Or, um, I could never spend that kind of money on a doll. Or, you know, or people seem to think that, oh, she got money. Then people start adding up your pockets, too. Um, you know, if, if I sell three dolls at one time and I put the price out there, people will add that up and be like, dang, she just made so-and-so-and-so you know, this week, you know what I mean? Like, so it's a number of reasons why people do not be, it's num a number of reasons why people do not put the price out there besides being shady. And let me say this, shadiness does exist. <laughs> Some people do um, leave the price off so that they can give each individual a different price. I've had it done to me. I've I've been charged more. I've been charged less. So let's be honest. I'm gonna be honest both ways. I've had you know I've had artists say, you know, 
here's the price you know rather it be because they they like the exposure that they get with the doll being on my channel or you know knowing that i'm gonna like show the doll off a lot and which is gonna bring them more business which is more than fair um if that's what they choose to do you know i hey listen i'm all for a discount who wouldn't be i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you nothing nothing different but then there's also the ones that say hey well look like she be buying you know um these expensive dolls so she definitely can't afford look at his little feet <laughs> um she definitely can't afford uh to pay more for this doll so she'll pay this price i'm going to give her a higher price because i know she'll pay it because she pays this type of money for her dolls all the time anyway you get that so yeah it is a risk when you're dealing with the dm me the price but here's the thing i have made a conscious decision that i will ask any artist what they are charging if I am interested and I've also made a conscious decision that if it's more than what I am willing to spend for that particular doll that no matter how bad I want it in that moment I will not go above my my uh my my limit that I've set for that particular doll so it doesn't matter if they, and you know, here's the thing. If they are being dishonest and they put a price up higher just because they see what type of dolls I collect or they think I got it to, to spend, well, guess what? They just, you know, uh, slime it their way right on out of um, a sale because now guess what? I'm not buying the doll at all when you could have just got it sold with no problems you know knowing that you don't have to i'm not a scammer and it's an easy transaction you know what i mean or i might have been paying straight out when your next buyer comes along might need a little way but because you wanted to be slick and try to up your price on me i'm not gonna buy from you at all and i'm gonna tell you something this is the craziest thing believe it or not a lot of times it's more so the collectors do it to other collectors than artists doing it to collectors a lot of times other collectors are the ones that get you on that price thing. They they're the ones that'll jack the price up on you based off of who you are cuz they're they're more aware too of who's buying what and who's spending what than some of these artists. Some of these artists don't even know who half of us is because they're not out in the forums like that. They're too busy. So um yeah, I've only had it happen to me a few times. Um, but it, it definitely has happened to me more than once, um, sometime by people that I trusted and thought that we had a good, you know, business relationship with, with them. I had a good business relationship with them. And, um, unfortunately I didn't find out till, you know, years later that that's what was going on, that I was being charged a higher price, but you know, you live and you learn. So yeah, it is it is a, a little stigma on the whole DM me for the price. But my thing is if somebody really wants something, they're gonna ask for it. They're gonna they're gonna ask the price. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. We done all been told no. We done all been told something that we didn't wanna hear in our life. So it don't stop here in the doll world. I'm gonna take the time to ask if I really want it. And like I said, where is your, the, the thing for your eyebrows, boy? Um, and if, if, if it don't work out, it just, it just don't work out. Like, um, but yeah, that's, that's part of why I feel like a lot of people do not put the price out. You know, it's, it's like this thing. A lot of times, you know just because you choose not to do business like that does not mean your business model must work for everybody everybody gets to choose their own 
way they do business. If you don't like the way that somebody do business, then don't do business with them. If you don't trust that they're being honest with you, then don't do business with them. That's just like the whole, um, you know, I need a, a safety photo. That, that we're in, we're in much more advanced times today in today's world. People Photoshop those pictures in. Um, first of all, if I feel like I need you to give me a um, safety picture, that means I don't, I'm not familiar with you around in the community. I haven't seen you around. I don't know who you are. And that means I probably shouldn't be buying from you because that means that I don't, I'm not sure that you're, you're who you say you are. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not confident that I'm not going to get scammed. So in that case, I just rather not. So I probably need to tie this. I should have did this beforehand. Oh, he gonna be so cute in that. Look at that. Wait till he get some hair, girl. Listen, baby. This little boy finna be crude. I think it's Barbara that comments all the time and she be like, that's so crude. And I'm like, girl, do you know my mama? Cause like, girl, like my mama say that. Like, wait, how you know to say that? Like, that's my family saying, you so crude. But, um, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like I don't need to do business with somebody that I need a safety photo from. It's just me. It's just me and, and the way my mind is set up. I just don't see that ain't gonna work I'll have to do this part later as far as the um, thing go and then guys I'm also going to give him his bath soon I'm almost done with my silicone custom um, and when I'm done with that one I'm gonna go ahead and give him his bath so I can finish like matting him down and then um ah I, I don't think i feel like rooting no time soon so i ain't gonna even tell that lie i don't know about that part dang oh i know you gotta mm -mm. i don't know somehow i have to get this button For now, we don't just do this. That's how people do it for photos. Boom. <laughs> um. But yeah, I I. A lot of times I be like, oh, I don't know this. Now let me tell you something about me with selling, and I know this this is bad. I know some of y'all like well. You know, people are new and they don't know and, you know, and here's the thing. I have to not be arrogant enough to think that everybody knows me. Oh, they should know me. I know that I'm, you know, I have the doll. Um, now, when they ask me for a safety photo, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't be bothered with that. I, I'll be honest. I'm not going to put a, you know, wine glass in the picture like Birdie used to say. Miss London used to be like, oh, go hold it up to the you know, kitchen sink and all that stuff. Ain't nobody got time for that. And I ain't finna do all that. But I have taken the time a few times. Like if they ask, oh, can I get more photos of this and more photos of that? I have, if I have the time, I will do that. If not, and I think you should ask the questions if you, you don't feel, you know, you're not sure. But... I will be honest, if it's somebody else messaging me at the same time that's not asking me all those questions, I definitely um, move on to that person and get the doll sold. But here's the thing about that. 
Um, I don't want people to be discouraged from asking questions because everybody is not an honest person. And if you're really not familiar with this person, then you should be asking some questions. If you're not following this person on other platforms and you do not know, you know, you don't, you don't know that they are very active in the community, then you should be asking these questions. So I don't want to discourage anybody from asking questions. It's just that I am being honest that I honestly, <laughs> I, I I look for the less work. Like, cause I, I won't lie to you guys. In my phone, I have 35,000 photos. I'm not lying to you guys. I don't know if I can show it to y'all, but I have literally 35,000 photos. Let me see if I can show y'all this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hang on. It's hard to Let me see. I'm trying, guys. Let me see. Let me see. See that? I have 35,000 photos. I take so many photos. Majority of those pictures are doll pictures. I don't have time. <laughs> I, you know, I... I don't, sometimes I don't have time to go back and take more pictures when I got so many pictures out there already. Um, so sometimes I just, I, you know, I'll like leave it and I'll get back to it. But if somebody get to me quicker, I just sell them. You know, it's just easier for me. But also, another thing is I feel like sometimes if people ask too many questions, like, yeah, it's okay to say, oh, can I see the hands? Can I see the feet? Da, 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 da. But if I feel like somebody's being like extremely picky, like, oh, can I see inside the ears? Can I see, you know, the, the this and that and all this and stuff? Like, unless there's a concern about something. Um, and even so, if you have a concern about a baby or something like that, nine times out of ten, when you get at home, you're gonna, it's going to be a problem. So... I don't want to deal with buyer's remorse or anything like that. So if somebody like is extremely picky with me, I feel like, yeah, this ain't going to be for you. Because my work is not super perfect. It's not flawless. Um, so, you know, I'm self-taught. I, I do the best I can. Um, I, I'm, you know, I don't edit my photos. You know, I... I give you what you see is basically what you get, give and take. Here's the thing. People keep saying, oh, when I get it, it's a little different. It's different than what, what. Here's the thing. I can't adjust your coloring on your screen at your house. So depending on how your monitor is set up is depending on how the coloring is going to show on your camera, on your phone, your laptop, whatever you want. Even if you take all your devices and line them up and put that baby on each one of those devices, the coloring is going to probably look different on each one of them because of the, the setting on your screen. So the colors are always going to be a little different. I've learned to kind of gauge the coloring for certain artists. And I know the artists that work tend to be lighter than their photos and those that be darker than their photos. Some, you just... Some people, some artists, I'm not going to start naming out artists, but there are some artists that I, I'm like, hey... I know that the coloring is not going to be as exact as this photo, but I know that it's going to be nice. So I roll with it. You know what I mean? If I want it, if it's in the area of where I want it, I'm like, okay. Sometimes if I'm questioning the color and I, and I want the baby specifically because of the skin tone, then I will look at all through all my different devices. That's how I know that they are different. I will enlarge the photos, blow them up. You know, you got to stretch them out. You got to do all that stuff. And that's how I know. But, you know, it's just a lot when you're shopping online, period. I have several items here that I've bought online that was not what I thought they were going to be when I got them. I am lazy and it's probably wasteful. 
that I do not take the time to return a lot of this stuff. Um, a lot of times I just either give it away or add it to a box opening or something to that nature. Um, online is shop online shopping is a little bit harder, um, especially if it's somewhere you're not familiar. Like for me, if I'm used to shopping at Carter's, I'm pretty familiar with Carter sizes. So Old Navy, Baby Gap, places like that. I'm pretty familiar H and M how their clothes fit. So when I order, I feel a lot more confident, which is why I order back from the same places a lot of times because I feel a lot more confident. Let me see. Hey, bald head bandit. <laughs> hey, bald head bandit. <laughs> I'm going to give him a little blue hat or something. But yeah. So. That's where we're at with it guys. I, I really really hope. That this makes sense. To you guys. Um, I, I. I don't knock people for questioning it. Um, I'm sure. Like I told you. It does exist where people are being shady. But some people are just protecting their customers privacy. And some people, you know, even when they do give people different prices, it's their prerogative, it's their doll if they want to. I don't like it necessarily, but, you know, I know for me, I've had dolls where I've changed the prices from time to time. Maybe at the time, you know, sometimes people be looking for a quick sale that particular day and they're like, hey, if you buy this baby today, I'm going to sell it for this amount. Well, when that day expires, guess what? The price going to go up. So that person may got quoted a lesser price, but maybe it was during the day of a discount. Maybe it was a day of a sale was going on. You know, it's so many different factors that play a part in, you know, pricing and all you know all these transactions we really can't do a blanket statement of oh if somebody ain't putting the price out they're being shady um yeah you really you really um you really can't can't put it you know you can't put everybody in one bubble let me see if he can take this how he's gonna look with this I'm gonna put that up giving I gotta put some KY on it. Guys, this the the using the KY on the pacifiers really makes a big difference. Oh we got a Sesame Street one too. Oh man. Like this one, this one, this one would work too. I don't know, that one might even work even better, but since I already done put the lubricant on this one, I'm gonna. Oh. Was it supposed to? No, oh, it's supposed to go this way. Well, how come this turn? I don't know. But anyway. I can't remember is that one that reborn love is real sent me or if that's one that that i had but anyway yeah so yes yeah, it's, it's no blanket statement that you know if they don't put the price it's shady because that's not always the case but it does is this um like i said you'll be surprised i i will never go into my personal transactions but let me tell you it's a hurtful thing when you find out that you've been buying from somebody for quite some time. And and if anything, you think, oh, maybe they're giving me a lesser price. And you find out that you're being paid, charged more. Um, I've had that happen. Ooh, and it just, it just really irritated me but at the end of the day i still feel like the price that i paid it was worth it so it's not too bad it probably would have been worse had i felt like the doll really was worth the lower price and i just paid it out of 
not wanting to ask question the price or ask will they take less um so yeah so anyway that's that this is a totally long video um uh, for those that made it to the end this is willow asleep sculpted by claire taylor painted by me he will soon be rooted by me as well and there's that and we'll see you next video bye bye